Ada. Hi. <laughs> oh, look at that smile. Look how big you are. Are you six weeks old? Nice counting. Nice counting. You're counting to ten. Yes, counting ten. Pop. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, zero. Wow. <laughs> wow. Pop. Where's Zelda? Yeah. <laughs> Zelda's getting so big, isn't she? She getting big? Oh, gentle, gentle. I know you love Zelda. Gentle. <laughs> That's sweet. Nice cuddles. Ready to go down for a nap? <laughs> oh, you're so happy. I love your smiles. I love your smiles. <laughs> so in here today, one of the kiddos helped out by folding all of this laundry. Um, and usually you'd put it in piles. Um, but this particular child has chosen just to put every individual thing folded and just put it all separately. So I'm just about to put this stuff away, but I thought that was funny. What do you think, Zelda? Do you think that's funny? And Birdie has just gone down for a nap. And what about you, little miss? You gonna have a nap? Yeah, are you gonna have a sleep? Or are you just gonna chill? <laughs> Look how big you're getting. Look how big you're getting. <laughs> She's six weeks old now. Are you six weeks old? Yes, you're six weeks old. And she has so much to say, don't you? <laughs> lots of things out. Who wants to pack away this number puzzle? Do you? You like numbers? Yeah. Yeah? You want to pack it away? Sixteen at the end like that. Yeah. Well done. Can I do one for you? Yeah. What about ten plus eight? That's eighteen. It's eighteen? Yeah. So hey guys, it is um the start of the school holidays, which basically just means all the school kids are on a school break. And for homeschoolers like us, that means all our um, sports, homeschool groups, etc., are paused for the school holidays. We've just had Easter and we had a really nice uh, Easter weekend. And so the leftover Easter eggs 
the kids have just been um, digging into those and enjoying them. Have you been enjoying your Easter eggs? Yeah, 24 times 6 is Oh, 24 times 6, that's a big one. Yeah, 24 times 6. 24 times 6 equals 2, 24 times 6, it's, it's 144. Is it? Yeah. I don't think we have enough of these to make 144, do we? 24 plus 6. Warriors and the Warrior books are about cats. They hunt and survive in the wild and sometimes they battle. And my favourite character is Fireheart. Fireheart is in ThunderClan. There's six books in each series. How many have you read? I've read um, four and this is the fifth one. I think my favourite one was the fourth book. Evan and Otter have been reading them too and they enjoyed it. I thought I might start reading them too. Cool. Do you think you'll finish the whole series? Yeah. I think you will too. The series reading is. What's he reading? Cats. Cats? Yeah, cats. Look how curly your hair is. Mm. Look at that. Mm. I wonder if her hair is going to stay curly. I feel like Birdie's hair is the curliest hair we have had on a kid. Um, some of our kids have had curly hair, but then it's gotten less curly as they've gotten older. Like Evan had some curls, Felix had some curls. Um, and as their hair got longer, it was sort of just ringlets at the end. Um, kind of like Cosmo's, but a little bit curlier. Rufus was pretty curly and Rufus's hair can still be curly depending like on the weather and um, like when it's been washed or if it's been brushed and all that. But yeah, I wonder if Birdie's will be curly curly because her hair is pretty curly. Like those ringlets, are, it feels like they're here to stay, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'm not sure if as her hair grows, it'll get like curlier or if they'll just sort of like fall out. Cosmo had curly hair when he was a little bubba. It wasn't quite as curly as Birdie's. Um, and he still sort of has curls, but it's more like wavy. Can you turn around? Can we see the back? Can we see the back of your hair? So it's sort of like still got some curls in it. But for the most part, I wouldn't say it's curly. Some of it's curly in there. Um, and Felix had curly hair when he was a toddler too. But the color of Cosmo's hair is so interesting because it was red when he was a baby. And then it sort of went a strawberry blonde. Still has very blonde bits here. And it's still like, I'd consider it strawberry blonde. But then there are some bits that are quite a lot redder. Like there's just some streaks in it that are quite dark red. So I'm not sure if his hair's changing color and getting a bit darker, but either way, it's very cute. And it's very long. Do you think you want a short haircut or do you like it long? Long. You like it long? Yeah. Yeah? See, look, it's it's much redder in here. He's just had a bath, so it's it's very fluffy. Looks like a fluffy chicken. Are you a fluffy chicken? <laughs> <laughs> So the rest of this video has no audio because um, I was trying something new with this video. I filmed the whole thing on my phone. So let me know um, what you think about that or if you even noticed. I usually use a camera, but I just wanted to see what it was like to film the whole video on my phone. Anyway, I accidentally left the baby monitor app open while I was filming these last clips. 
and um, so you could hear the white noise from the baby monitor throughout the whole uh, last few minutes of the video. So I'm just going to turn the audio off because it sounds awful. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> A lot of people say that Zelda looks like Pearl. What do you think? you see it? Oh, not really. Here I was just explaining that the outfit that Zelda is wearing was one that Pearl wore when she was a little bubba um, and that except she was probably a lot older than Zelda when she wore it because she was very very tiny. And then I just wanted to show you guys some of the uh, little worksheets that the triplets had been doing as they had read the book Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and they were just doing a little design your own chocolate bar worksheet and Rufus was telling me all about his um, chocolate bar that he designed. It was like a corn crunch um, flavor and Bertie was very interested in all of that as well. Afterwards, Sylvie was just drawing some Easter eggs on her drawing board and telling me a little bit about Easter and how she enjoyed Easter. And then we were just going to end the video. Um, basically, I was just going to talk about how it was school holidays. And I gave him a bit of a random question asking if he would prefer school holidays all the time or if it was um, school term all the time. If he had to choose between never having school holidays or never having school term. Anyway, he found it a very difficult question and he couldn't choose. He was going to choose school term and then he was going to choose school holidays all the time. And then he just couldn't decide because during the school term, he gets to see his friends a lot through the week, but school holidays um, is fun in other ways. And there is not as much schoolwork, obviously. Anyway, I will see you again next time. Bye bye. Bye. Turn it off now.